Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orchid Runner and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Part 4, I believe. Excuse me, how long have I been playing? What was that? Play Playtime 4 hours and 30 minutes and 40 seconds, is that right? That can't be right. Can it? No, that, there's no way that can be right. I've been playing for four hours. Not a hope in hell. What the hell, Capcom, your game is broke. Oh yeah, and another lock, here we go. Now what's in here? Ah, yes, more shoddy shells. Need lots of those. Right, okay, we left off last time, just barely escaped from Nemesis. Speaking of which, I keep saying this, I need to practice dodging. I can barely dodge zombies and I can barely dodge him. It's all down to timing and my timing is obviously rather crap. Okay, so either nice well, cutscene time. Cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai, how are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for it. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Not again. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait! Wait, Joe! No! Damn it! Oh, okay, he's after me again. That is good to know. Okay, like I was saying, that's good to know. Need to turn down the volume so I don't yell too loud. Oh, is this why I think it is? Yes, it is. Time to get zapped, Nemi. Okay, that bought me a few seconds. Probably not a lot, though. Can I search around here for items? Oh, oh. This might work. Yes, give me those freaking handgun bullets. Oh, no! Oh god, I got slapped. I got slapped deaded. Oh god, no. Very bad start. Alright, let's do this again without getting our asses handed to us. Hey, give me that. Come on. One last time. <gasps> Run! Shit! Get dressed, down boy. Now's my chance. Hey, come on, come on. And hopefully he won't crawl in after me. Okay, I need to use a first aid spray. Okay, I think we're safe for now. Mostly. Oh, yeah, as if that's gonna stop that behemoth. This guy can bust through freaking concrete walls. He ain't gonna use no goddamn door. Carlos, do you copy? Carlos? Oh, shit. Oh, I need to find another way out. Alright, great. Save point. A herb. I have to say, they're a lot more generous with items in Resident Evil 3 this time around. Because in Resident Evil 2, it was mainly crafting ammo you had to do, and it was more, more about uh, conserving 
all of that stuff and whatnot. But here it seems that everything is handed to you on a silver plate nearly enough. Not that it's a bad thing, but I'm just genuinely surprised. Because gameplay wise, I thought it was going to be pretty much the same with Resident Evil 2. A map of the area. Perfect. Well, I don't need to use one. But I suppose it, it would help. Okay, what did I, did I miss something here? Oh, a pouch. Okay, how do I get it into this office, though? Oh, through there. Okay. Oh, what was that? Sister, I don't think we even want to know. Okay, the capacity on this hasn't been increased any bit, no. Okay, and uh, I'm not gonna go down here yet. Let's just see if there's anything useful here. No. Again, let me stress this point. The key to survival in this game is searching everywhere. Okay, I don't have what I need for this. Search everywhere for anything. Be it herbs, ammo, mostly herbs and ammo, but that's all you really need to survive herbs and ammo. Oh, I'm definitely burning this place. Good call. I mean, you're essentially in the city's waste. It's so like piss, shit, all that good stuff. Hmm. Excuse the hell out of me. Okay, I thought I saw something pop its head up. Whoa! We got friggin' dinosaurs now! Friggin' sewer dinosaurs, that's what that is! Oh, hand grenade. I missed that. And, oh, good thing I have plenty of these. Here you go! Oh hell no. What the fuck was that? Wait, where did... Is it dead? Oh, I actually killed it. I am so surprised. I just want to check my map. Okay, I'm gonna go up these stairs. And see where they lead because there are some areas that are optional and if you don't go through them now you probably won't be able to go through them later or if you don't explore them now you'll be able to explore them later probably you'll have to replay the game again ah okay need a power source to that gate this one can just be busted open no no locked okay right this was a gigantic waste of time Right, and as you can probably imagine, a lot of the assets would have been reused from the RE2 engine. Or from the RE2 game. Oh, hi. Here, eat that. And eat this. Ooh. Son, you just got valentined. Okay, let's hope we don't bump into any more of those guys. Again, check the map. Oh, so there's an office down there, and then there's a lab up this way. Um, I assume I have to go both ways, but I'll check out the office first. It seems like a smaller area. Yep, this is where we want to go. Probably can't open this door yet. Oh, we can. Oh, goody. Okay, what do we have here? We have Explosive B. Oh, that's gonna be for another gun we get, probably. 
So we'll store that in here for the time being. And go over this note. Research assistance log. March 4th. Water temperature 18 degrees. pH 6.8. Gammas released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish. Combat potential low. April 18th. Water temperature 20 degrees. pH 6.8. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results with a significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Those are the freaking dinosaur things I was dealing with. June 30th, water temperature 22 degrees, pH 6.2. Umbrella has officially shut down the Gamma Research Lab. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlyle is more committed than ever to perfecting the Gamma line. August 14th, water temperature 25 degrees, pH 5.8. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers. Increased temperatures have led to a decrease in water quality, but specimens appear fine despite my concerns. Gammas quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days were exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. All specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but I have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. September 1st. Water temperature 23 degrees, pH 6.1. We were lucky to secure the space by bribing the sewage department chief, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the gamma's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. September 9th. Water temperature 21 degrees, pH 6.1. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the gamma's promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. Oh, so there's private experimentation going down here. Oh, that makes sense. Those were gammas, not dinosaurs. Gammas, dinosaurs, wh whatever. They, they look like dinosaurs. I'm going to call them dinosaurs. And we got an invoice from Gun Shop Kendo here. Thank you for purchasing the Triple X Triple X grenade launcher. We've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of purchase, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price as agreed. Handwritten note on reverse. So explosive rounds, you require two A2s, flame rounds, an A and a B explosive, and acid rounds, two B explosives. Mind rounds, can't be readily crafted, not worth sucking up on. Won't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. Oh. Ooh, this is it. Okay, nice. Wait. I'm gonna take this out. And I'll do a quick save -roo. Okay, so I'm about done in here. I've collected everything that I need to collect. And you know what? I think I can keep them in line with my shotgun and whatever grenades I can collect. But I'd say... How do I switch rounds? Um, I suppose I can just go to combine with... I've no idea how to switch around. Circle? X? Triangle? No? Oh, well, I'll figure that out later. But for now, I'll just keep it on me handy. Hopefully I won't see any more gammas though. Oh! Oh, that's grody. Okay, we got a zombie there. He's just ready to pop up and do the oogie boogie. Pokey pokey. Still not going to pop up and do the oogie boogie. Boop, boop. Okay, no. That's fine by me. You won't hear me complaining. Oh, hell no. Oh, get flamed, boy. You gonna die? Oh, so flame rounds are effective on them. 
Good to know. Okay, what lies in here? Oh, another research lab. This is what this is. Okay. Oh, battery power pack. Ah, shit. Don't have enough room. No chance of picking up an extra pouch here. Nope, but I do have more explosive rounds. Let's see, is there anything I can drop? No. There's nothing I'd want to drop. Gunpowder, can I come out of this and, and then combine this with this boom perfect love letter my little darlings it's already been three months since we fled here together i found myself thinking back to the day you hatched your little voices made me tremble with pride your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power and of course that ferocious insatiable appetite you are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series, and yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they ever heard of character flaws? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them yet. Down here we'll continue to walk this evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. Well, uh, thanks for letting me know the weaknesses there, Jim Bob. That's going to be very helpful. Okay, high-grade gunpowder. Uh, shit, I don't suppose this is a save room as well, no. Damn it. Okay, I've got everything from the lab. The gunpowder, the battery pack, and the herb. Took a few trips back and forth, but I got there eventually. Oh, Christ, another one of you. Oh, sh Damn, I burned myself. Jesus, uh, buddy, bag it up. No, 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 no. Why did you do that? Stop, stop. Okay. Guess we're going to find out what's in here. Wait, do I get that back? Or do I get another battery pack? No, I can't take it back, can I? No? Okay, I guess I have to find another one. Oh, God. Worst comes to worst, I can use my shotgun. In fact, I probably will use it. Just to try and conserve a bit of ammo, because I have six spare shotgun shells in my inventory. Yeah, I can't go out here. I need another battery pack. So all these doors need their own individual battery uh, battery packs. I can't just um, plop, plop one in and take it back again. Wait, how do I go about getting in here? I'm not missing a door, am I? Oh yeah, that one, of course. And just gotta check around here for any collectibles. Nothing left on the floor. No. Okay, so where else is left to go? Well, I suppose down here. Seems to be the most viable option. Oh. 
didn't see this. Increased sewer security. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility. In response, we are replacing the aging mechanical locks and implementing new security protocols. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on hand at all times when moving throughout the facility. Oh, excuse me. So, does this mean I can take back the battery pack that, that I used on the door a while ago because I don't see myself getting a second or a third one because I've just looped here that must be what I have to do I have to go back get the other battery pack because I've unlocked this door which means I should be able to take this one out again. Yeah. Knew it. And I can use it on this door now as well. Okay. Wait, no. Use this. Boom, there we go. Ah, oh, yes. The hip pouch, and I desperately needed this. Explosive A and gunpowder. Okay, now we're ready to rock and roll. And I think there might be another pouch or two later on in the game. Who knows? I mean, one thing's for sure, there's definitely more things, more key items that we have to hold in our inventory now than in Resident Evil 2 Remake. That's for damn sure. And at least, um, at least the pouches are a lot easier to come across. They're not as hard to miss, so uh, thumbs up Capcom, good job making the game a bit easier for noobs like me. Um, where's this now? No, I didn't miss a door in here, no, no. I didn't miss anything in here. Just be sure. Just be sure, be sure. Okay, fine. Yes, double checking and whatnot. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not done with you. Is there else we could use this battery? I don't think so. I'll check my map. No. So the areas where I have been are highlighted in blue. If I strew this area, it would be highlighted in blue, wouldn't it? Why do I get the feeling I'm making an ass of myself here? Ah, ha, ha, Robbie, Egypt, this is the freaking door you go through. I wonder why it wasn't highlighted in blue. Oh, 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 I hear rattling. Ah, there you are, you sneaky git. Boop! And hopefully no more gammas. Because I should be out of the sewer after this. Carlos, can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm alive. I lost him. Great. Subway's ready to go. We'll leave as soon as you make it back. Okay, Carlos, buddy, I'm on my way. <gasps> oh, God. What the fuck? Oh. Escape the creature? No shit, dude. Get off me! Oh, dude is gonna toast my ass if I don't get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Right, still force my legs, man. You can use weapons. Yeah, it's that smart. Okay, got jet the areas for weapons and ammo and whatnot. Ooh, is this another save area? I bet it is. But the question is, are these save areas safe? I mean, I can still hear him. I mean, or at least I can hear his theme music. Okay, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll combine this with this. This should make explosive rounds. And I'll deposit these in this and this green herb. Free up more space. Actually, you know what? I'll take out the explosive rounds. I could need them. Uh, shotgun shells, no. No, no. I'm, I'm fine on, on weaponry. Just do a quick save. Then I'll get back to my boy, Nemi. He probably won't burst through there for a while. At least until I get to the top of the stairs. Or escalator, travelator, whatever you want to call it. Oh, hi. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Oh, no, you ain't gonna take a nibble out of me! Get off! Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Just, just run. Oh, here he comes. I gotta get out. Quick. Oh, wait, this whole place is coming down. Oh, do I just make a bridge? Come on. Yeah, as if that would hold in real life. Where do I go? Oh, up here. Jill, stop staring at him. Whoa! Jill, if you don't be careful, you'll become a Jill toasty sandwich. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh god, oh god, oh Jesus Christ, oh mother in heaven, help me. Okay, in real life, flames wouldn't spread that fast, nor would he go up a steel scaffolding. As far as I know. Oh god. Okay, what's this? Another save point? Yo. Oh. Okay, uh, I don't need to deposit anything. Uh, what I will do is save again and just check out these notes. Notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved to the roof for safekeeping. Entry to the premises is prohibited until current unrest has subsided. All employees are to stay at home and wait for further instructions. Stay at home, dudes. Don't leave your house. That's more relevant now than it was going back two or three weeks ago. Boss battle already? All right. Let's do it. No way can this be a boss battle. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, it must be, or at least a semi-boss battle. Okay, let's see how you like it, Nemesis. Oh, guess he doesn't mind. Whoa! Oh 
shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. How far can this thing reach? I'm guessing pretty damn far. Oh, and you're right where I want you to. Oh! Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no! I just became a Jill Toasty. Not my intention. Isn't this just one big giant battery here? Can I just make it go poof? Okay, no, I can't. Okay, and there is this. Oh, hold on! Oh, I can... Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Ooh, green herb, thank you. Oh, and there's a box. Explosive rounds, nice. Oh, you're right, Nemesis. Okay. This time, you go explodey. Wait, hold on. I just want to see. Can I... How do I switch ammo types with this? Oh, it's L1. And I just wasted a good flame. Oh, sh shit. Run, Jill. Oh. Go on, take a step closer. Oh, yeah, get that, boy. Ooh, doggies. Oh, that's hardly fair. How hasn't that thing freaking exploded yet? Speaking of explode. Oh well, good reaction time. Boop! What the? Oh yeah, get wrecked. Yeah, even you can't dodge from that close, Nemesis. Okay, I need to lay it at his feet. Oh yeah, there we go. Just gonna get the shotty and... Oh sh... Still kicking? God damn it, it still is. Fair play to him. Oh no, don't you dare, don't you freaking dare. Uh, change the flame rounds, I suppose. But even flames aren't putting him down. Down. Not even a little bit. And have one more explosive round. Got. Get right. Is that it? Well, I think that just about does it for Nemesis, at least for now. 
but you know umbrellas, bio-organic weapons, they're not, uh, they're not meant to be taken down that easily, if you want to consider that easily, or easy, by all means. Oh, Nemesis down, question mark, no, far from down, definitely far from down. Okay, right, I think I can finish up about here. Carlos, it's Jill, do you read me? Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. You could have been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. I know. And thanks. The subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Okay, you know what? I think I'll just return to the subway station now. And then just end the game there, or end this video there. Let's see how it goes. Okay, best take out the old shotgun. Oh, and of course I have a welcoming committee. Oh, I can go down to subway station that way. Uh, while Lou is uh, on just to... Oh, gun shop Kendo! Cool! Can I go into that shop? I mean, maybe? Possibly? Wait, isn't this where he went with Leon? Yeah, it was! Yeah, we cut through here before. I went down that sewer. Oh my god, yes! So is this all taking part during the Resident Evil 2 timeline, or is it like a few days after or before? I forget, I'm not sure of my dates. Wow, that's so cool. Wait, will we get to see the gun shop owner? Okay, how am I in health? Um, I could do with a little top up, I'll just take a green herb. Okay, right as rain. Explosive A and a semi auto barrel for a shotgun. Don't think I'll be taking any, any more any more items from here. Oh, gunpowder. I'll definitely be taking that, so I'll combine this with this. Boom, flame rounds. And seeing as I'm out of ammo with this, I can just reload. Gives me more space. Okay, thank you. Take that gunpowder. Jill. Kendo, you're all right. Yeah, all all right to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We could use a manager skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a, uh, just bad timing is all. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? Uh, take care, Jill. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? There are keys hanging on the wall. Oh, that's your man from Resident Evil 2 as well, with his daughter. The daughter got bitten as well. Oh, that's so cool. I like how, how the games are sort of overlapping with each other. That is... That is absolutely very cool. It's not thing you'd probably notice on the PS1 versions, but with this, it definitely stands out, because you can tell that they're running on the same engine. I mean, back in the old PS1 era, era the PS1 days, we didn't really care what engine games ran on. They were all pixelated masterpieces at that time no one really cared for graphics there's um there's only one one gra one type of graphics at, at the time well two or three types 16 bit 32 bit i think ps1 was 32 bit yeah yeah it was oh that's so sad listening to that because you know what's going to happen yeah, this is definitely intertwining with Resident Evil 2. Right, I'll take Kendo's gate key. 
because I'm guessing now I can't really go down to the subway station, can I? I'm, I'm assuming that way is probably cordoned off or something, hence why it had to come through here. Anyway, guys, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. Comment, favorite, share with your friends, and of course, subscribe if you wanna. And I will see you in the next one. So on to next time. See ya.